Hey guys, it's time for another Word for Wednesday. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for the Word for Wednesday. The Word for Wednesday this week comes from Romans chapter 5. Uh, let me read to you from Romans 5. It says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, per perseverance produces character, and character hope. And I love this next line. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us. And I started thinking about this, this great love of God that's been, it's been poured out into our lives through, through Jesus Christ. The Christ's blood was poured out for us. And when I, when I thought about that word poured out, I started thinking about some of that, that imagery in the Bible that, that uh, in Malachi, it says that uh, if we're generous, God throws open uh, the windows of heaven, or, or your version might say the floodgates of heaven. It could also be translated the sluice gates of heaven. Just the idea that when God lets it go, man, it's just like a, a dam breaking loose and, and pouring out a flood of God's love and blessing in our life. And Ezekiel says that there's, God pours out showers of blessing onto us. And one of the blessings of summertime is ice cream. And this weekend, uh, we made some homemade ice cream at our house, homemade vanilla ice cream, and it was delicious. But I gotta tell you, my favorite ice cream, if I'm gonna go buy ice cream, my absolute favorite ice cream is this, Grater's. Grater's ice cream is un real good. It's unique among all ice creams uh, in the world. It is unique because Grater's is the only ice cream in the world that uses a French pot method, a commercial ice cream makers using a French pot method, and they make theirs in small batch, two gallon batches at a time, uh, their whole plant. There's only 36 uh, French pots that are making ice cream at once. It is, ugh. Oh, so good. Now, why my obsession with ice cream? Well, ice cream is actually one of, I think, the most biblical desserts that you can have. So when you eat ice cream, you really should just be embracing the fact that that is one of God's great blessings. How do I know this? Because it's in the Bible. The promised land is a land that was flowing with what? Milk and honey. You take milk and honey and you mix it together, you stir it up, and what do you have? You have ice cream. And so when I, you eat ice cream, you can just be remembering the blessings of God. And, and you gotta be stirred up to make ice cream. And so God's gonna stir up your life and he's gonna stir things up or you might stir up the spirit in your life and just be excited about what God's doing in your life. And when you stir that up and you stir up that milk and honey of God's blessing, baby, that's ice cream. So go out today Buy yourself some Grater's ice cream. If not, just get any old ice cream. Enjoy a bowl of ice cream and remember that God is pouring out his blessings on you. I love you guys. We'll see you Sunday online at 1030. Uh, you can watch on our platform, ccfsilom.online.church. You can watch on Facebook uh, or you can watch on YouTube. No matter how you watch, tell a friend. Invite them to watch with you. Do a watch party. That'd just be so awesome. We really want to encourage and help as many people as possible become more and more like Jesus. So man, thanks so much for taking this time on Wednesday. Go get some ice cream. I love you guys. Bye-bye.